Hello mate and welcome to Introduction to Rempi Part 6. In this lesson we're going to look at styles. By the end of the lesson you'll be able to describe styles and their uses, describe the basic style commands and demonstrate how to use styles to change screens. So what is a style? A style is a set of properties which we can predefine that are going to affect elements on the screen, for example, frames, feed boxes, H boxes, and text. They allow us to make easy adjustments to the properties and the elements within the screen in groups that we can quickly reassign to other screens as well. So what sort of properties can we change? We can change frame backgrounds, fonts, text colors, padding and spacing, and a whole list of others. Style prefixes are how we assign a specific style to a specific screen. And we will cover that in more depth very shortly, but just know that the style prefix is the way that enables us to very quickly assign a set of styles to one of our screens. If we look through our existing RenPy code in any new game, you can see that the screens file is littered with hundreds and hundreds of styles. And as you can see, if we scroll through style for the vertical scroll bar, the vertical sliders, frame styles, then you can see under the say screen you've got a style for the windows, a style for the labels, dialogues. So Rempi already uses loads and loads of styles but that isn't to say that we can't just create our own. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our Rempi file here, we're going to get into our game file and we're going to create a new file and this one's just going to be called testscreen.rpy. And we're going to create a screen and we'll just call it test screen and then we'll end it with a colon. So when we normally define our screens, what we usually do is start off with a frame and then inside that frame we'd have a series of properties like background would be blah, 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 something like that, you know, dot JPEG. And you can have a X position or Y align or X size or any things like that, um, which is fine. Uh, you can do that every time you want to define the screen. But let's say we've got a game that has different types of user interface for different parts of the game. So, for example, if you've got a game where the character's user interface changes when they purchase a mobile phone or something, you don't want to have to keep typing these styles out every single time you define a new screen because that's just gonna be time consuming. So what we can do instead is we can actually take these properties and we can, and after our screen definition here, we can actually go style and we're gonna call this test screen frame. And then we're gonna put all of our properties within there instead. And now what that allows us to do is at the very top here, and if you remember when we talked about style prefixes, what we're gonna do is we're going to state our style prefix is going to be enter some colons there and now we're just going to say test underscore screen what rempi will do is it will interpret this as our prefix and it will add it to the beginning of every element in the game or in this particular screen in this case frame so it's going to add test screen assuming we spelled it correctly to the front of frame and then it will look for a style with that name. So as you can see, test screen frame here, and it will interpret these to be the properties that this frame needs to stick to. So we can give it all of these properties and then we can use those instead. Now you might be thinking, well, all we're doing is moving the code from here, from uh, that, from up here, from where it should be. But again, what I'm saying is, is that you can reuse this style prefix in any number of screens you want. So you can set a particular frame to look a certain way and then you can reuse it multiple times, which is really useful. It just saves having to repeat the same code over and over again. All you have to do is add your style prefix at the beginning of the screen definition and lo and behold, all of the things that you have styles for will adopt these properties. Now, it's worth mentioning that there is a thing called inheritance and what that means is frame has a finite number of properties 
Some of them are predefined, in fact all of them are predefined by default in our screens file and using GUI values in the GUI file. For example, if we come here, GUI accent color is defined here. What the screens file will do is reference this variable for this thing. And again, it's just about you allowing us to quickly use values without having to retype the values over and over again. Anything that we don't define inside here. So if there is a property, for example, called Flaggy that we don't define in our style, the frame will still inherit that property from the default. So again, don't panic about knowing every single value. If you just want to change two or three specific values for the frame or for the HBox or for whatever it is that you're doing, you only have to change those properties. The rest of them will still be inherited from the original properties. Now, as we get further into this series and we explore screen language more, it will become more apparent how important and useful this feature is. However, I thought I'd introduce you to it at the very beginning so that you can get a really solid understanding of what all of the text inside the screens file is actually doing and how we can manipulate it if we want to. So as you can see, style window, and it's using variables from the GUI file, as we already talked about before. So if we want to change these values, we can just put the numbers in here if we want to. We can put uh, 0.5 or 1.0 or whatever is the relevant value inside here. We don't have to go to the GUI file. However, the GUI file is just a list of these variables and it's just a, a more kind of easy way of organizing your code so that you know exactly where to go to adjust things. But as I said, you can you adjust these things as much as you want. So yep, you can say default, blah, 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 blah. Name box, as you can see, a whole bunch of variables from the GUI file are being used here as well as here. I would strongly recommend that you explore the Rempi documentation for style properties that you can change because there are a vast number of them more than i would be willing to go through in a single video anyway and um, look through your screens file read through kind of marry it up to the properties inside the gui file just so you know where everything is and what everything is doing and and again if you're going to customize your graphical user interface whether it just be changing the main menu or whatever you can do that by adjusting those values you haven't got to mess around with doing a huge amount of work it's just a case of finding the value that corresponds to the thing that you want to change and changing it or defining your own style either way is up to you either way is equally as rewarding that about wraps it up for this video guys i know it's a short one thanks very much for watching let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.